everybody, it's Miss Shaw, and today I am going to make something called barbecue chicken salad. And what it is, is it, I got this inspiration when I would go to a uh, Panera's actually and pick it up. They would only have it in certain times of the season. But then I would also see something similar to it at a restaurant that I attended to at my parents' place. So, I'm going to do that today. And the reason I came up with doing this for you guys today is because um, on the weekends I help my mom out at the farmer's market where she lives. And so everybody sells uh, a variety of things. My mom sells crafts. Um, we have people who sell us vegetables and stuff. Well, I had some salad that was given to me for free. And um, some fr corn that came out of the freezer that we couldn't put back. So it's like, okay, so I have this and I have corn. What would I need to make this salad? That's actually how it came about. Salad and corn, okay? I said, well, I also have barbecue sauce. And I have ranch. Now... Uh, the barbecue chicken salad also comes with um, onion straws on it. I could have gotten some at the grocery store because what my next thing going to is I went to the grocery store. I bought some chicken strips. Now, for everybody to know, this is how much chicken is actually in the package. Guess this with air. It thinks you would have all this amount. Not really. It's always half. It's half. I opened it up and took a lot of the air out. And I probably need to take more air out. I'm not going to use all of the chicken because I can actually use some of this chicken if I want to make a chicken noodle soup, which in another video you can use this. So if, say you got this chicken broth and noodles, you got your chicken noodle soup. And we're using this for a variety of different um, meals. I went and got some tomato grapes because I like tomatoes in my salad. Not everybody does. You do not need to put the tomatoes in. Okay? I also went and got myself some tortilla chips. They were not expensive. I think these were like $2 for the bag. And you can put as much or as little into your salad as you want to. Now, because this chicken is frozen, what you could do is you could stick it into the refrigerator and let it just defrost if you're going to use all of the chicken. Or what you could do is you can actually just defrost it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this down. And I'm actually going to use probably one plate today. This is a specialized plate. It's kind of, I call it like a plate bowl. I don't know what the the actual terminology for this type of plate is. But it's like, not a bowl, but I don't know. And it's not quite a plate. It's kind of like when a plate and a bowl come together and they make a kid. Okay. So what I'm going to do, is I'm going to take some chicken. You can have as much or as little chicken as you want. I'm going to take about that much, okay? You want some more chicken? Oh, my, why not? Put some more chicken in there. If you don't, if you have a chicken breast that you've already uh, cooked up for something else, go ahead and use that. Or if you have a chicken breast in your um, refrigerator, cook that up. You know, put this back in my freezer for later. Now, I'm also going to warm up the corn as well because it's been out of the freezer for about a week. Now, if you do not have frozen uh, corn, you can use canned corn as well. All you have to do is take the corn, open the can. I would say just rinse it off. And then you can use it. So you can use canned corn as well. Okay? So I'm going to pause this, warm up my meat, and warm up the um, corn as well. And I will be back. 
Okay, I've warmed up the chicken. The uh, corn is also being warmed up. You do not have to warm the corn up if you don't want to. A lot of times they may say, well, it's roasted corn. Okay, here's what really roasted means. They put it on a grill. They grilled the corn, okay? So, sometimes I do grilled corn, especially on the 4th of July, especially cor grilled corn on the cob. I've washed these toma cherry tomatoes. What I'm going to do is now I'm going to add some salad or lettuce. Uh, you can have salad mix or lettuce mix. And you add it. Now usually the chicken is on the top. It might have been already uh, put barbecue sauce on it. I'm going to do something a little different. I'm kind of going to do a little bit upside down. Put some tomatoes in if you want to. I like cheese in my salad. So I'm going to go get some grated cheese. Okay. And if you can't have corn, like my mom's not able to have corn. Actually, she's not even able to have salad. It goes in one way and out the other. It goes right through her. in here. I have mozzarella or they call it mozzarella. Try and take the air out of it. The reason I take the air out of it is so that it doesn't take up so much room. Oh, time to get the uh, corn. I could do this in one setting with one plate, but that's okay. I'm actually going to put this corn in a container first before I put it onto my salad. Just to make it easier for me. Now, the frozen corn is not supposed to be defrosted before cooked, but it just so happened that came out of the freezer and I couldn't get it back in. Okay, so it's going to go in a container. I'm going to get a spoon to scoop up the corn. And you can use this corn for something else, like another type of meal. Now you're like, you you warmed up that much corn? Remember, I'm going to be using it. I can use this in like a soup, um, like a chowder, if you wanted. I have a recipe on there where you, um, seafood bisque. Or any type of soup uh, milk based product if you want to add this to even the um, chicken noodle soup you can take this and add it right to the chicken noodle soup into a chowder so what it is is even though I'm using a little bit I can use it for other things okay next is my tortilla strips I love them come on there you can add your onion straws. Um, there were some at the grocery store I said earlier. I just didn't like when it said garlic and uh, pepper. To me that just didn't taste correctly. Okay. Add some barbecue sauce. Now you guys uh, might have had barbecue chicken sometime. I, in a, a restaurant, they put the barbecue sauce on the chicken. So you could try it that way, like put the barbecue sauce on the chicken. I'm just going to put it over. Use your own type of barbecue sauce that you like, or even whatever you have. Get some ranch dressing. 
put that over. And there you have it. Okay? Took me over 10 minutes to do it, but once you get everything however you like it, it'll go quick and easy. So enjoy, take care, and have a good summer. Right now it's our summer break, but I thought, you know what? I'll still make something just so that you guys can see it. You take care now. Bye. <laughs>